styles tends to uh, 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 not only separate men, you know, because they have their own doctrines, and then the doctrine became the gospel truth, you know, that you cannot change, you know, and but if you do not have styles, if you just say, well, here, here I am, you know, as uh, as a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely? Now that way, you won't create a style because style is a crystallization, you know. I mean that way. It's a process of continuing growth. People know or think that Bruce Lee only had one martial arts teacher, and that was Yip Man or Yip Man. Although Bruce Lee may have recognized the Wing Chun Grandmaster as the man who taught him a lot and formed the core of his martial arts repertoire. Yip Man was not his only teacher. Bruce Lee was an aficionado of martial arts and received knowledge wherever he could. He is said to have had at least 10 teachers of whom he received knowledge. Although he may have said Tai Chi Chuan is for all people in an interview he had, Bruce learned Wu style Tai Chi Chuan from his father. Not to a deep extent, of course. However, he had a taste for it. Nonetheless, Tai Chi Chuan was not the only internal martial art Bruce had experienced. Yi Chuan was another martial art he had learned on his trip back from America for a short while. He learned it from the great master Liang Zipeng. Liang Zipeng was an expert in various styles, namely Tai Chi Chuan, Liu He Bafa, and Yi Chuan, just to mention a few. However, it was his Yi Chuan that greatly influenced Bruce Lee. The principles that have even later that he even later used in the creation of his fighting philosophy, Jin Kun Do. Many people say Bruce Lee was the first to have mixed the arts, but this is wrong. Many of the masters in mainland China had done such endeavors long ago in their pursuit of truth. The ideas of not being bound by stars, for example, like Bruce Lee put in an interview, were ideas the likes of Wang Xiang Zai had professed long ago. We have written about Wang Xiang Zai deadlyjews.com. He was an expert in Qing Yi Chuan and the creator of its derivative Yi Chuan. Liang Zipang learned Yi Chuan from one of Wang Xiang Zai's disciples, Yu Pang Shi. In the book, The Complete Book of Yi Chuan by C.S. Tang, a disciple of Liang Zipang, he mentions the above with photos as corroborating evidence. And this explains Bruce Lee's ideas in talking about being like water and being formless. These ideas are ancient as the martial arts he learned from. Episode 26 was brought to you by the book, The Pandemic. How do I survive and make money? By NCD. Available on Amazon Kindle. If you like this episode, subscribe. Our content is available on Spotify and all popular platforms, YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. Look for Daily Jewels TV or media and you'll find us. DailyJewels.com will have the blog post version. Check it out with other content. And if you really like this content, subscribe to our Patreon page. All our content, everything in martial arts is free. And if you like, you may donate one dollar. It helps this ship going. Thank you. Bruce Lee shows you meditation in movement.